Greetings, YouTube. Normally, I would never show my face to any of you, any of you at all, but this is a special occasion. I am Elvis X, representing the Empire X gaming community, and welcome to the unboxing of two very, very sexy items. First off, let's get the least important one out of the way. This is Persona 4 anime on Blu-ray. The cover. Look at it! The back side right there. Now you can really see it because my video quality is shit. But anyway, now let's move on to the reason everyone clicked on this video. This is the Street Fighter 25th Anniversary Collection. Look at the cover. The sleeve which the kanji on there stands for sky or heaven in Japanese. Let me just take this damp sleeve off. Ah. ah, yes. Yay! By the way, if you hear a noise in the background, that's my PS3. It is downloading all of the shit that came with this. Here is a look. If I can open it. Inside the chest all the shit you get. We are going to be looking at all of it. First off, the Certificate of Authenticity. The number I got to tell me that I do own this, I am number 21,599 out of 30,000. I was kind of hoping for a smaller number than that. But oh well! Now, through that, you open these two latches here, and you have this 64 page, very, very sexy art book. Show you a couple of the pages, but again, the quality is shit with my videos, so don't know how good this is going to show up or not. Yes. Moving on from that, afterwards, we move on to what the theme of this chest seems to be. Which, by the way, this chest is actually made out of pretty hard material. I want to say solid wood, but I, I don't know. It's not going to be broken, pretty much. This, moving on, is Ryu's actual black belt that he uses on his key, and it is actually a real black belt. Same material, has kanji on it and everything. Personally, I thought that was really badass. Is it useful, though? Uh, probably not. I doubt anyone's actually going to use this for anything other than display purposes, like myself. Oh, you bitch, don't eat our clothes on me. Afterwards, we have the 11-disc soundtrack for this. I'm only going to show off a couple of them. This is the one for Street Fighter One from 1987. And if you look at the cover art on the soundtrack, which I know I probably didn't show off at all, so I'm retarded like that, it actually is Ryu on all 11 soundtracks. And you can actually see, like if you look at the Street Fighter 1 CD, it actually shows Ryu from Street Fighter 1. Then you look at the 2 CD, it shows him from 2. And you actually get to see an evolution of him all the way up to... Oh, that's the wrong CD. Screw it. You get to see him all the way up to... Uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. That was awesome. Speaking of Ryu, we have here an 8 inch Ryu statue. Also, not for very much practical use other than display. However, I collect this sort of shit, so it doesn't really matter to me. It does light up as well with the Shoryuken but um, I didn't remove it from the packaging because I'm the type who thinks that might decrease its value. Call me a bitch if you want for not showing it off. Sorry, it's just the way I do shit. Get in there. Fine, don't go in there. Be a bitch. Moving on. This right here is one of the reasons I got this as well. The Street Fighter documentary and anime Blu-ray set. Cover art. There's the back side. Look at the sexiness. Take a look in here. 
two discs, which I just put my hand on one because I'm a dumbass. Disc 1 has the documentary and Street Fighter 2 the animated movie, while Disc 2 has Street Fighter 4, Super Street Fighter 4, and the Street Fighter animated series, and it is the US one, which I have not seen yet, so it'll be a first for me, but I've heard nothing but shitty things about it. I hope that those things were wrong. Moving on now. <clears throat> I was honestly hoping Street Fighter 2V, the second animated series, was also in here, but whatever, Capcom. After that, we finally come to the part I'm sure most people already own, the games. Right here is the voucher code, which I've entered into my PlayStation, and it will give you all the DLCs for Street Fighter 3 Online Edition, Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition, and Street Fighter X Tekken. You get all costume DLCs, all character DLCs, and everything. You also get um, Street Fighter exclusively on the PS3. Alphas 1, 2, and 3, and Alpha 3 Max. You also get Super Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter 3 Online Edition. I thought that was really, really sexy. And lastly, we'll get out of here. We have Street Fighter. Super Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter X Tekken. And this is the Arcade Edition, too. The only thing I own from this package was Street Fighter X Tekken, and it was the shit that was the 360 version. Well, you take a look inside here. Not much of an instruction manual, as usual. Capcom cheapness. Disc 1, Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. Disc 2, Street Fighter X Tekken. So, yeah. A very wise purchase for anyone who warrants it. I'll put everything back in the box when I'm done with this. Too lazy to right now. Speaking of the box, if you look right here, there's also metal shit right here. Like metal things. To also protect, protect it if you put it down on something. But, yeah. So, that was my very first unboxing and origin of the Street Fighter collection. Is it worth it? Yes, if you don't already own any of this shit. The only thing I owned, like I said, was X Tekken from the 360, and I didn't have any of the DLC. And so yeah, I thought it was very worth it. 360 version kind of got fucked on the steel again. So if you have both consoles, get the PS3 version. Because even the 360 version comes with a Blu-ray set. It's not DVD. Thought it was messed up. As well as um, the code, the voucher code, for the PS3. Just enter it in on the XMB. With the 360, you have to go to Capcom's site, enter it in, and then you get your codes and email. I don't like doing shit that way. But so, um, yeah, I hope this has been helpful. I recently got into Street Fighter like two or three years ago, so it was an ideal purchase for myself. If you already own any of the games, I don't know, I think you should take it up. Personally, I'm glad that it comes with all the soundtracks as well. I'm a huge fan of collecting video game music as well. And, um, yeah, I think it was a great purchase. I thank you all for watching this, and hopefully you all will see me in my next videos. I hope that this has shed some light on whether you want to purchase this or not. I am Elvis X from the Empire X Gaming community, and I'll see you all next time.